Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Hunter and I am a software engineer. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use a program that I wrote called QuickDAV on your Steam Deck to upload, download, and manage the files on your Steam Deck from another computer or phone. All right, so the first step is to actually acquire QuickDAV. And for that, you'll go to sciactive.com slash quickdav. I'll have a link down in the description. And on this page, you will see, if you scroll down a little bit, a buy now for Linux and SteamOS button. This might look a little different in the future. Hopefully I can get QuickDAV on the App Store and the Windows Store, and then I'll have links to those as well. But you'll wanna click the buy now for Linux and SteamOS button. That'll take you to this page, sell.app, where you can buy the app. Uh, or if you're here in the next few days, you can use the coupon code Steam Deck for 100% off. So you'll go ahead and click buy now, and then the email you put in, if you're using the coupon code, this email you put in right here is the email that you will receive the link to the, the download for. If you're using PayPal uh, to actually buy the, the app, then it will go to your PayPal email address. Whatever the address is that you have registered with PayPal, that's where you'll get the download link. So after that, we're gonna switch over to the Steam Deck to download QuickDAV and get it installed. All right, now on your Steam Deck, you should go into desktop mode, where I am right now, and open up Firefox and log into your email, where you should find an email telling you you just bought uh, QuickDAV and a link to download the product. So we're gonna go ahead and click that link, and we're gonna download it into the downloads folder. Now here in the downloads folder, after that downloads, you should see a tar.gz file with a strange name. I can't help the name, sorry. Go ahead and right click on that and extract here, auto detect subfolder, and you should see a quick dav folder. Right now, you can just open up the app image, hit execute, and you can see it works just like a desktop app but we're going to add it into the Steam library so that we can launch it from the deck UI. So in Steam now, in your library, go ahead and click Add Game, Add a non-Steam game, and then click Browse, and we're going to go up to Look In and select Home slash Deck. Then you're gonna scroll down and find the Downloads folder, go into there, and then into QuickDAV, and now in this folder, we can select file type and click all files to see the QuickDAV app image. Select that and click open and click add selected programs. Now from here, it looks very, uh, how should I say, technical, uh, but there are included some Steam library image files that we can use to make this fit in with our Steam library a bit better. So go ahead and right click this empty space above the, uh, the words QuickDAV and select set custom background and then browse to that same downloads folder. And inside there, we'll see in the QuickDAV folder, QuickDAV-images. And from there we can select the banner, click open and now we can right click that same area and click set custom logo and we'll see the logo, click open. And in uh, the gear icon, click on properties and then click this little area next to the name here and go to the same folder and click icon.png, click open. And now one last image file, click on whatever header it is, it's probably an uncategorized, and right click on QuickDAV and click Manage Set Custom Artwork. And now you'll select Steam-Artwork. And that's the last file. Now we've got our QuickDAV entry in Steam. So now we can return to game mode. So I'm gonna close and return to game mode. All right, now we're back in gaming mode and we can go to our library. And then in our library, we can go to non-Steam 
and we should see QuickDAV here. Go ahead and click to open and then click play. And the first time you launch QuickDAV after a reboot, it might take a little while to show up. There is instruction, an instruction on uh, how to fix that if you want to from the, the, the page that shows up after the purchase. Uh, it's just adding dash dash no dash sandbox to the launch options. That'll make it load a lot faster because it's an Electron app and Steam has some issues loading Electron apps. All right, now that QuickDAV is open, you can see you can use the right and left bumpers to change the tabs at the top. The dash will show you information about your current share. Uh, folders will show you the folders that are currently being shared. Uh, by default, if you have an SD card inserted into your Steam Deck, it will share the home directory and the SD card. If you don't, it will only share the home directory. Uh, the config tab lets you change things like the username, password, port, and whether it uses encryption uh, and a password. And then guide will show you how to connect from a Windows PC, a Mac OS PC, a Linux PC, an iPhone or iPad, and an Android. Uh, there are also some launch options if you want to set things like the username and password on launch. Uh, and there are also some environment variables to force certain options like gamepad UI, even if you're launching outside of Steam. Okay, before I wrap up this video, I do want to show you how easy it is to connect to QuickDAV from your PC. So I've got QuickDAV running on my Steam Deck. I've got my Windows PC. I've downloaded and installed WinSCP, and I've entered all the information just like it tells me to in the guide. I'm gonna go ahead and click login, and I'll get a notice that the certificate is not known. That's because this certificate is a self-signed certificate. And don't worry, there's no, uh, there's no risk using a self-signed certificate when you're communicating over your own network. If you're communicating over the internet, you shouldn't do that. But since it's my own network, I'm gonna go ahead and click yes, and now I'm connected to my Steam Deck. I can see I've got my home directory there, downloads, I've got quick dev here. There's the app image that I'm running. So it's very easy to connect to quick dev from your PC. So wrapping up, I hope that if you decide to use quick dev, it works well for you. If not, tell me why in the comments. I'd love to make it even better. I saw a video posted on YouTube recently about transferring files to and from your Steam Deck, and I thought maybe I missed some easy way to do it. But no, after watching the video, I really think QuickDAV is the easiest way to do it. So leave me a like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing, and I'll see you in the next video.